Hello and how are you? My name is Mahin Jambar and uh, we're going to do our a seventh lecture of creating uh, a complete uh, hotel management system using clean PHP, MySQL and HTML. So we always do 40 minutes so you can see our timer has started. So without wasting much time, without wasting much time, let's go straight into today's business. So you can see I've already opened our project, this there. Then after I have uh, uh, opened the project in the browser as well, so you're familiar with this. Uh, so I was creating the seventh video yesterday and uh, I got some challenge and I lost uh, the recording. However, I've done a lot of things. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to explain how you can reach this level so we can proceed together, right? Yeah. So first things first, um, in the previous lecture, we were able to have this, uh, creating new category and uh, being able to upload the category with the uh, photos. We were able to do that. So in this lecture, we want to finish this lecture, the, the, the section of listing. We're going to begin with the listing or displaying the table of uh, categories. So I'm going to explain this step by step. So if you come here to categories, uh, I admin room categories the PHP, you'll be able to see a list of uh, categories. Okay, it is there a list of categories, and then <coughs> I'm going to explain how I came up this list. So first things first. Um, so if you come to your admin room category, I'll be able to see the first tab that we created. <coughs> so on top of this tab. I'm going to create a page section. Uh, you remember this variable? We substitute it in the header to to stand for this page section. So I'm going to say page section to be room categories, and then I say page title uh, to be categories list. So this is the section, and then this is the title. And we know this is being substituted in this admin header dashboard header. It is being substituted here, okay? It's being substituted in this section. I think we did this logic together in the previous videos. All right, so after doing so, I go ahead and, uh, uh, sorry, I'm not in the right category. I'm this admin room categories create this admin room categories. Okay. So after doing so, I go ahead and select uh, the list of categories. So I'll just simply say room categories and then say DB select and then I pass the table of categories that I want to collect from there. So by doing so, it will bring for me the list of categories. So you can as well do so. So here I'll be able to get the list of what? Of categories that in our table. Then after doing so, I come and create here a row. Okay, just let me remove this and this is how I did it. So I create a, a div of a row, okay? Then after creating a div of a row, I create uh, another div of call 12. Let me show you. So this is inside this div of call 12. After creating a div of call 12, I go ahead and create a card. So a div that has a class of a card. So you can see how I created that. So inside that class of a card, I go ahead and put the first child, which is going to be uh, a class of H5. Okay, and has a title card header. So inside this, inside this card header, we go ahead and put our button. Okay, this will call as well be a div. Okay, so in this inside it, we put a button, which is the link of creating new category. Okay, a link to create new category. You're already familiar with that. Then after doing that, next to it. I go ahead and put another div. Let me remove this one and you see it. So after that, okay, after this, I go ahead and create another div. And then I in this div, I give it a class of what? Of uh, card body. So I'll show you how it looks like. So that is card body. So if I come and refresh here, you'll see that uh, we are having something like this, okay? Card body like that. So after doing so, I go ahead, I proceed and create uh, now what? A table. So a table 
to create a table is straightforward just simply go ahead and create a table tag after putting the table tag then go ahead and put the table body i mean the the, 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 the classes so it will have a class of table and this is table stripped table bordered and then table hover and then uh, table clickable i can remove this clickable like this okay and then i give this table my class of category tables i give it an id of uh, an id of ca category tables so that is the id that i give to this table so now next to that table i go ahead and put now the what the table header let me explain this so i go ahead and create a table header and this table header it has a tr means the table row and these table rows are going to have category name category uh, uh templates uh photo and the details and then the actions okay that is our table header so the creating table header i go ahead and create now the table body so the table body i'm just looping i'm just looping through uh the i'm just looping through the rooms that i collected from here i look through them so when i look through them i look through them i get this category and then I create a TR inside there. So you see how I write, how I wrote my for each loop. Just say for each, and then I put the category, and then I uh, go ahead and do high and end for each like this. End for each. You can do that kind of a style. Just put a colon here, and then end for each like this. All right. So I go ahead and say uh, TR, and then this is table row. I go ahead and display the category name and then the template and then so the image so the image is uh, uploads okay uploads and then i go ahead and open the php tag next to this upload and this and and, and display and put or i echo there the category of the image you see how i echo like this and then after i go ahead and give this image an alternative this is optional and then i give it an, a class of thumbnail and then I after I go ahead and say uh, and display so and, and close this what and close the the tag. So by doing so it will be able to display our image on the screen. So you can pause the video and see how I did that. It is very possible and it will be able to display our image on the screen. So after doing so, I go ahead and display the details. However, these details you can as well skip them. But if you want, you can display them, and then after I go ahead and uh, put the edit button. So the, in the table in the column of, of actions, I go ahead and put the edit button. Okay, this link we're going to revise it, and then I also go ahead and do what and put the um, the delete button. So I'll end up with something like this. We we'll have. The tables, the template, and then the edit button, and then the delete button. All right. So after doing so, uh, after doing so, after doing so, we go ahead. So after import, after doing that, so in the shell of fish, in the table. So however, we did not stop from there. We did not stop from there. So the next thing that we did, we had to add. Uh, we had to add what? We had to add. Uh, the data tables. So data tables is a library of. I mean, is a, is a, uh, data tables is a, how should I call it? Is a package, or it is a, an extension, or it is a library that is made of JavaScript that will help to organize your ta your table and ha help you to handle it if it is in form of data. Okay, you can be able to search, you can be able to sort your table for example you see here i'm able to search lively you see i can be able to search for example i search the head room that has had people you see i'm able to uh search okay you see i'm able to search all right so that is the power of data tables so to add data tables first of all you may need to come here to learn about data tables so go ahead and say bootstrap Bootstrap data tables, okay. So bootstrap data tables, 
uh, you'll see the first search result, which is talking about data tables. So when you click on these data tables, you'll be able to see much more about these data tables and what they can possibly do. You can turn on the like mode, something like that. You see, you'll be able to learn about these data tables and see what they can do. So to do them is just simple. You just create a, a HTML like this one with your data and give it an ID. And then after importing it, after importing this CDN, after importing these CDNs, you go, you go ahead and do what? You go ahead and uh, initiate the data table like this. Okay? So that's how you initialize a data table. So let us see. So I have already, the, the JavaScript, I mean, sorry, the, the package that I shared with you, uh, it comes with data tables, so you can go ahead and include them here in this format. However, you can also as well search the data tables. You can also as well search about the data tables. And then instead of doing the other side, you can as well include this JavaScript. Okay, this JavaScript. And make sure they are doing what? Uh, they are loading. So after including that JavaScript, you can go ahead and include their CSS. So their CSS is here on their website, the second thing. The third thing, sorry. The data table dot CSS. Okay, here. Yeah. Okay. This second one, don't have to include there. Okay, this one. So all right. So if I do so, let me go ahead and include it here on top. Um, maybe next to the header here. Um, show you. So I've I've included. Can come and include here also the CSS from there. All right. So now, uh, now to initialize the data table, we just simply say script and then put the ready listener. When the document is ready, uh, we go ahead and say category tables. So remember, this is the ID that we gave to our table. So we just say dollar sign and then put hash. Hash means that you're referencing an ID and then say category table and then you put dot data tables. And that's all you need to get started with what? With data tables. So if you imported the JS property, if you have either used the external one or the one that I shared with you, and then do this step of initializing it. So if you did it successfully, you can simply come here on the data table, and then you'll be able to have such kind of a table. So that's what you literally did in the previous lecture. So I hope uh, you can uh, follow the videos very slowly, and then uh, uh, to see that you can achieve this. So, right, so we proceed. So the next thing that we're going to do right now is uh, to enable the edit button. Okay, so we want the user to be able to edit. Okay, we want the person to be able to edit. So to do so, I'm going to... All right, so um, uh, let's see. Okay, so there we go. Uh, now I want to be able to edit and also delete. So once you finish the whole crude here, it will be simpler for us to uh, to do what? To present these things online. Yeah, so that's what we're going to do right now. All right, just a minute. All right. Let's resume our business. Okay. Now let's make this edit button to work. 
Let us uh, do that logic of edit button mm. to work, okay? Mm -hmm. So to make this edit button to work, what you're going to do? Mm. We are going to. What you're going to do? You're going to link this edit button with a create page, with a create button, okay? With a create link. So let's see how we do that. So we can use the same form in the same place. Uh, so to do that, get that button, get that link. Come to where there is edit. Okay. So come to edit. So our edit button is here. You've seen it. So I'm just going to get the same link for create and I put there edit, you see? The link for, for creating. Okay. This link for creating. Okay, it's the one that I'm going to put in the same section of edit. Okay. So I'll just simply come here, say admin admin room create okay and then i also change this on admin admin room create okay however the difference that is there right now we're having a question mark question mark id equals to okay so id equals to then um, the product i mean the, the 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 id of an item that we have we are, we are focusing on right now and then I put the button of edit. So here it means that you are just passing the ID of an item that you're going to edit through the gate. Okay? Through the gate. Alright? Uh -huh. So let's see. So if I come here, back to our rooms, I refresh. Now if I move my mouse over there, hope you can see the link. You just watch this space here, here in the bottom. Watch that space. So if I move my mouse over the edit, you can see that space where I've told you to watch. It is pointing at uh, admin, room categories, room categories, create, I qu create the PHP question mark. Okay? So it means that you're selling the get variable. ID equals to 3. And this one ID equals to 1. And this one ID equals to, uh, to 1. This one ID equals to 2. So if I click on uh, this one, edit. You see, it is taking me to this section. However, we are not seeing any difference here. Only the only difference that we are seeing is in the link. So meaning that only the ID has been to send to, have been sent to this side. So right now, what we are going to do, we are going to get this ID and see, and get the product that is being edited. So we put its values here. Okay, that's what we are going to do right now. So to do so. I'll come here to our create button, which one, which is here. Create. I'll come back there, and then I'll go ahead. I'll go ahead and do what? I'll go ahead and uh, and ca so I'll come here to the create. Okay. So I'll come here to the uh, here, here after post. In fact, okay, after post. Here, okay. So I'm, I'll come here. I mean, after header, after header, I'll come here. So what I'm going to do in this uh, create file, I'm going to check if this time someone is editing. So this file is going to do two things at once. The first thing it will be doing, it will be doing when someone is adding a new what, a new category. The second thing that will be doing, it will be doing when someone is editing. So I have to differentiate the two. The difference is when someone is editing, we are setting the ID here in the get variable. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to first create a boolean here. I say easy editing and make it false by default. 
after the footer here i say is editing i make it false by default so i'm going to check when can someone be editing i can only check that by saying if is set and then i pass the get super global variable of id if we set the id then i get the id the product that is being edited like this the category that's being edited like this so i have the id so i'm not getting the id but still i need to get that particular item that is being edited so to get it i can say category equals to db select db select and the parts categories and then i say id equals to id so i'll go ahead and check if if um, I'll, I'll just let me first echo here echo a pre tag and see if this thing has come okay and then do whatever has come from the uh, from the database you see so we're getting this from the database so if we come and refresh you see that uh, okay our array is not okay so let's see db select so we put here where and then we go ahead and uh, what is the sorry, unknown array in where close or the where is supposed to be an sql i mean sorry uh uh, uh in fact a, a sql so i just simply put this So where I go ahead and say where ID equals to ID like this. Okay. So I know the ID that I've got in the gate, I'm passing it here. Okay. Let me go ahead and refresh now. You'll see that this is the product that is coming. But it is being brought back as what? As an array. So how about if we create a function that will be responsible for just searching things by ID. So we can just call that function and it brings us uh, something that we're expecting on only one instance because this one is being what an array. So we have to check if the array is not empty. So I think we can have a function that can do that for us. So I'll come back to our functions and create a function called find. Okay. So this is db select. So I can create another function. I can call it find or I can say db find. Okay. So this function can take a table and id or unique identifier. Okay. So it can be doing the other thing for us. So it can just simply doing uh say so to be getting just data okay it will get for us uh the data so it's going to be db select and then it give it passes here the table remember this is in functions file we are creating it in function files it passes the table that has been provided and then it says id equals to id okay so if you go ahead and check if uh, count of this is count of this data is greater than zero, it returns that data. Else, it should return null. So this one will be doing for us the searching of a specific item by ID. Okay, we've called this db find. So in this case, instead of doing this, can just pass here db find, and in this second section, we give it what? We give it uh, what it should find. Okay, or we can just simply um, okay. Let yeah, let's run will be say fetching something by an ID. Okay, so it will be getting something by ID and return you the first thing. So the only thing that we shall be doing, we shall be taking if it is null or not. So if I come and refresh here, you see that we don't have we don't have a, a, a we don't have a what we don't have a, a null. Okay. So we can check here and see if if 
uh, VB is not null. So if this category is not null, then we can just say now category is editing. So you say editing is true when the category is not null. So we know this DB find if something is not found by ID, it will return a what? It will return a null. Okay? So we check if it does not return a null, we make when we do what? Uh, we, we enable, we say now it is editing. So the, the word has changed now to do what? To editing. Okay? So we can even do this thing on top here. Here, 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 on top, here, on top. We are doing it on top, actually, on top. So we can now come here and check if is editing. Then we can update the page title. Editing, room, and then maybe I can put the ID, room, and then I put the ID there. Okay? So here, editing room category, and then I put the ID. If it is editing. So maybe to be well formalized, so the ID of an item we can put here and make it what? And make it null. And also maybe you can also come there and put the the, the category and make it null. So they can always be defined. So you can pause and look at that logic that I've done, which is very useful. So in simple terms right now, we now have the category that is being uh, edited. So if I come and refresh right now, you'll see that we are, we are having here editing room category like this. Okay? So that is uh, very nice. That is very nice. Mm -hmm. Now the next thing that we want to do right now is that when you're editing, the values have to be what? Have to be... Have to be... Uh, have to be placed in this uh, in this form by default okay so how can we do that we can either do that by coming here and pass them through this okay or we can uh, simply manipulate the session and pass them through what through the session okay one way of doing it I'll come here to category and then come here. So for example the, the, the name put comma and then pass a uh, value. So you see how we pass the value. So value we just simply check. Let me explain this. So in this name uh, input I just say value. So I put if is editing, I pass category and the value. Otherwise, I pass an empty thing. I hope you understand that. If is editing, I pass the value of the category name. Else, I pass nothing. So it means that if you're creating, it will give nothing. If it's editing, it will give you the value of editing. So if I come and refresh here, you'll see that... Uh, now the the value is automatically being uh, substituted here you see so we are editing this room and the value has been substituted there and that is very nice let's do the same for the template so template come here uh -huh. go ahead and say value template do the same thing now let's refresh beautiful you see template number two has been selected that is very nice okay so for the photo, of course, you cannot select it before automatically. However, we shall see how we are going to come about it. And uh, then we come to details. Then we come to details. Uh, details, details. Here, input text area. Go ahead and put the value and do the same thing. Do the same thing. So if I come and refresh, you'll see that everything is beautiful. So if I go back to our rooms, maybe in this... Um, in this um, in this room categories, we can put back the link. Okay, let's be putting. Let's put back the link. Let's put back the link of uh, that can take you back. Okay, the link that can take you back. Mm.
we can make this section to be clickable let's go to the header Okay. So we have this page title. Okay. So page section. Uh, maybe you can also put page section link. Okay. Section link. So it has come here. And this, I'll come and press enter. You see that? All right. Look, okay, let's let's add another one. I don't know why it's doing this. Okay. As a section underscore link. So section link I make it in small letters here. Whoever done that will be coming through the page, I can make it in capital letters. So I update it from here like this. All right. So uh, now I come to. I remember I'm in the header. I come to the section. This is our section. Okay. So instead of having just span, I can surround it with uh, an anchor tag. Okay, this section here, in this section, so I can just simply say anchor tag and uh, I put there the link. So this page section text, I put here it in between the link here. All right, so if I come and refresh, You'll see that the uh, room categories is clickable. Okay. Now let's go ahead and pass the page link, the section link, section link here. So I'll come to room categories create here. So section link, I can just simply cancel dollar sign equals to admin categories. Okay, admin room categories that is the section link okay whereby someone can click to go back so if i refresh if i click back here you see it takes me back to the room categories okay. yeah. that is nice so if i want to edit this i just simply click on edit and everything is fed there by default now lastly, I want to display the image of that, maybe product, something like that. We can display it. So it has come into category photo. Category photo here. Um, we just check if it's edit. Okay. So just simply say that 
just comment here if is edit display photo okay so you just simply check there so you see if is edit if is edit i go ahead and add another column there and then i go ahead and display the photo you know how to display the photo we've already discussed this so you see that all right so if i cut my refresh here now when it is edit you see uh the category photo comes here okay the category photo comes okay or what you can do Mm. These two, you can put them in their column. So you can make this one. Let me show you. Come here to div. Yeah, all right. So you can make this one to be mm, to be eight. Yeah. So create a class of row. So you see, this is next to the other row. This is next to this first row. And then I create another row that will be having the photo in case there's an edit. So if I come and refresh, you'll see I have this thing. Okay. Okay, so I can come here and also make this one a little bit bigger. So it can be maybe 8. So 8 plus 4, that's too low. So you see. There we go. So a photo is there if the photo is already, is already existing. So you can put the link, maybe delete photo, and do that logic. Okay. So there we go. Now, I want to put the logic of um, actual updating. Okay of actual updating when someone is updating we shouldn't create a new what we shouldn't create a new uh we shouldn't insert we should just do the actual updating okay so that's what we're going to do right now okay so to do so it means that when you're going to send a post that will be an, uh, another different request so it means that we, when you're going to send this post we have to uh, somehow um, tell, uh, notify the receiver or the the the, the, the person who received this that hey, this time we are editing, we are not creating, so it can insert. I mean, it can update instead of what? Instead of inserting, you get it. That's what we want to do right now. Okay. So what we shall do, uh, we shall just, uh, we shall just uh, come here and hide, we shall just create a, a hidden field and put our ID there. So, <clears throat> so I'll come to our page title, I mean, so we'll come, I'll come to our form, I'm coming to the form, on top here, uh, Check if is editing and hide ID in the form. So that is the power of Copilot. So I can just tell you what I want it to do for me. So you see it is there. So I'm saying if is editing, if is editing. Okay, I put if. This is how you do the if and you say end if like this. So if it is editing, it's good, good for me. A hidden... Uh, an input with the type of hidden and then put there the ID and then put there the value of the category that is being hidden So if I come and refresh here, you see everything is okay Now if uh, let me make a say maybe Edit ID so that it can, it can be able to, to identify clearly So let me make this one to be text so you can be able to see what is happening in background, okay? So if I come and refresh right now, you see that the item is there so if I hide it, it will be there, but it will be hidden, okay? So that is what I want to do when it is editing. Alright. 
So we are going to go do now the post. We are going to check if it is editing from the post now. Remember, this has a name of edit. So I'll come to the post. So we check the method is posting. So we can do the logic of edit from top here before we proceed to insert. You can as well do that. Okay. So let's check here the method and check if it's editing. So I can say if. So I can just simply put here. Okay, let's first validate. Make sure that everything is coming. If there is new image, the new image is uploaded. So here when you are about to insert, I'll check if it's editing or if it is inserting. So check if check if is editing. Uh -huh. So I'll do that and Copilot will do it for me. So it will either be this or the other one. Okay? So I can just simply scan if, if post of edit is set, I'll do that. Else I'll do the insert. Come and put this one in the insert. Okay. So let's go through this. So it's going to be ID, we get the ID of an item, then we get the categories. Okay. Mm. So here on the side of photo, we might first check if the photo is set or it's not set. Okay, so in that case, I'm going to bring first have a data and we keep this in the data. Okay, get this data, I'm cutting it and put it in the data. So I'm going to remove this variable photo to make sure that at least to change a the photo, there must be a photo that is submitted. So I'll check if the image is uploaded. I check if this photo is null, can add some other conditions, and the photo is not empty. Then I'll go ahead and say data and I add there the photo. Remember. This photo is not uploaded successfully, it will remain null. Okay? So this is how it uploads the photo, still remember. So I'll check if the photo is not null. Okay? I'll go ahead and do what? I'll go ahead and... Uh, I'll go ahead and do what? And update this photo from here. I'll add it to the data. That's why I have to separate the data. If there's a new photo, I'll go ahead and first check it is there, and then I add it to that. Otherwise, I'll not change the photo that I had to avoid data loss. Then I'll come this data and pass it here. So, the update, we have not created it. So, we're going to create the update. So, to create the update method, we're going to be receiving the, the ID the data and the where condition let's do that so we shall come back to our functions the functions file i'll come and do here we can call it db update oh my god all right so i'll come here and check Okay, so I'm going to do db update that it will receive the table to receive table data and where condition. All right, so let's do that. So Copilot will do it for us. Okay. So it will get the connection get the fields that are going to be updated so it looked through these fields okay then after it trims them whoever here would not do 
all right do you do some do you do some uh, do you do some escape let us do this escape here all right so uh where is it so let's go back let's go back to update all right so here this is the escape let's just do like the way it did here all right so let me go back to update and explain all right so we get the connection we get the field so this fields just going to be empty and then the value is going to be my sql we pass the connection and then the value and then we put it here so we're updating the value to make to, to escape okay so when she when it finishes we trim okay we get the fields we trim them like this we reverse them so this comma should disappear at the end okay and then we go ahead and say sql equals update table and then it says set fields where id equals to so this where condition so table let's get the table uh, the id okay okay let's be updating where the id and then the data i think that's fine so here the id is that all right and then we do the result so if it successfully does it so we query it okay we run the query okay so if the successfully does it we return true if it fails we return false so you can pause the video and see how I've written the update sql okay now let's go ahead and execute it so we come here db update we pass the table pass the id and then we pass the data and remember this is how we organize the data so we can actually Put the way and see if it successfully did so or not. Mm -hmm. So if it successfully updates, it will go ahead and say success, room updated successfully. And then return back the person to the room categories. So if it fails, it will keep those on the same page. Let's put this one here. Right? Something like that. Okay? So you can pause the video very and look at this very carefully. Okay. This is when we are updating. All right, let's go ahead and now try to change. So let me add three full stops on this name of the of the category I submit. You see, update it successfully. And you see the three stops has come. I hope you can see that. That is very powerful. If I refresh that message will disappear you see that if i come and change this i put it maybe uh bungalow that the spelling of bungalow i update you see bungalow has come all right mm -hmm. i can go ahead and let's add the photo to this click there Mm -hmm. There's no photo. Let's go ahead and select some photo. Let's take that one. Submit. You see, the photo has come. So our edit is working. And that is so beautiful. Alright, so oh, our time is up. Our time is up. I did not see that. All right, our time is up. Uh, so our edit is working. I think we can use uh, one minute just to finish with the delete. So when you come back here, we just go straight to the products. So let's finish the delete. So the delete is going to just be keeping on the same page, but it's going to have like the delete action there. Okay. So let's look at the delete. So you've seen the, the update the, the edit button. Watch very carefully, try to understand everything. 
so you can uh, be able to achieve what you've done. So this is the update method. You can watch it very carefully. Right? And remember this function, you can use them in any kind of project. Uh -huh. So let's, uh, let's do what? Let's uh, uh, conclude with the deleting. Our time is up. So I'll come to room categories. I come to update. Sorry, room categories. This is the one. So the edit we have finished it. Now let's work to the what? To the delete. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um I will come here and then we're going to keep it the same. I can even just make this one to be stroke. Let's just get the, the same link. The same link. Same link. Room categories. Then I say delete. Okay. So just say delete and then we pass the ID of something that should be deleted. Alright? Delete and then we pass what it should be deleted. So I save. I come and refresh. Everything is fine. So if I click on delete, so you'll see that the delete, the, it is telling us the same thing, but there's a delete in the action there on top there. Alright? So let's go ahead and now come on top here and see if the, the if the, 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 the we see what is need to be deleted okay on top there so i'll go ahead and check if i'll check if what if um if is set so i'll go ahead and say check if delete is set all right so i'll go ahead and say if delete is set you see if is set and then we see delete then we go ahead and get the id and then we do the db delete so you have to first here require functions once okay require function files once so let's go ahead and write the db delete uh class i mean for function very fast come here on top we can come here to the where we have our database functions let's um, do db delete so Simple as that. So you just simply say db delete, connect, what and what. Yeah. So you can pause the video. It's just delete from here where I did good. Something like that. Doesn't need much. So you can pause the video and look at this. So I think that's it. So db delete, we pass there the delete and then pass the message. Room has deleted successfully. And then we turn back to the rooms. However, you may need to delete also the image that has shifted to this room. Some, I mean, room category. Something like that. So let's first, for example, let's first get the room. Okay, maybe we shall do this in the next episode. But for now, you can do that. Let's save. Okay, let's let's do it right now. So let's get a category, and then we check. You remember we have DB, DB file. So if the category is not fine, we just put danger and then turn back. That's not was not found. Then. Uh, let's check delete the photo I mean check if it has photo and delete them so I check if photo is not null and link it so this is how you delete uh, a, an, for a, a, a file so I can even first check, check if the file is existing check if file is existing Okay, so I get the file, I go ahead and check if file exists, this is how you check if file exists in PHP, and then if it's existing, I delete it, alright, yeah, so let's see, now right now we have like uh, this file here, now I'm going to try to delete this uh, room, this room category, so let me take you back and you look at this function properly, 
Yeah. So there it is. It's the DB delete. So you check if the guest has delete on top here. We just do that. We can look at that function really properly. All right. Let's, so let's go ahead and delete. So click on delete. Yeah. It has been deleted successfully. So if you come back, you see a photo of the other beautiful lady is gone because it has been deleted. So we had their five photos. One has been gone. So that's how you delete photos. You just use unlink. You say unlink and then the photo will be deleted. All right. So that's how you delete things. Okay. Let me take you to the function again and you see it. It is here. The logic is on top here. All right. Yeah. That's it for today. I'm going to upload this video. Unless there's a question, uh, if there is not any, see you in the next lecture tomorrow. So you guys keep practicing, keep practicing. We have to keep all the energy there. So by the end of this month, we should be uh, somewhere. That is uh, how you get the knowledge. Otherwise, there's no shortcut. So you guys should really, really practice. Don't give up. Just finish all the videos. Repeat them three times. And see if you will not understand these things. You will be able to come up with your own ideas. Because this is just all about understanding them. Alright, see you in the next lecture. Goodbye.